A Detroit woman claims a sneaky ex-lawyer and a not-so-nice notary stole her houses. And she didn't know who they were. She didn't know how to find them. But problem solver Rob Wolchek did. And now that pair has been charged with some serious crimes. Rob? I tracked down and confronted these two earlier this year. And now the Wayne County prosecutor is getting her turn. This looks like a manhunt, but it's actually a wolf hunt. Jack B. Wolf, that is. Disgraced mortgage man, alleged dirty deed done, and the subject of two of my investigations this year alone. So you're just a totally innocent party here? I, I didn't say that. And these fugitive task force officers are armed with felony arrest warrants. He needs some prison time so that maybe he'll think about it. Think about the houses Donna says Jack B. Wolf stole from her and her family. With a little help from someone prosecutors say is a nasty notary, Cordia Pennington. I'm not being on TV or nothing like that, am I? In February, I introduced you to Donna and her deed dilemma. This house on Kirby Street in Detroit was left to her by her father, George Booth. But when she and her daughter, Rhonda, started to fix the house up, there was a big problem. The deed had been changed, and they said my dad has signed the deed. Yep, records claim George Booth had quit claimed the house to a company with a registered agent named Jack B. Wolf. But Donna knew this was a fraud because the deed was supposedly signed by her dad in 2017, two years after her father, George Booth, died. Donna even brought me her father's ashes for proof. Then Donna found out there was another house her family owned that had been quit claimed to a company associated with Jack B. Wolf. But this quit claim deed was supposedly signed by Donna herself. And it's not my signature and I did not sell it. Donna couldn't find Jack B. Wolf, but I did. Here he is outside his office on Orchard Lake Road yelling at somebody on the phone. Soon I'd have him yelling at me. Have you ever been taken to a court of law? Have you ever been had your deposition taken as a result of a story that you've done? Because you're about to have that happen to you. Okay, great. Good. Cameraman, too. That clip is from a story I did in May when cops and city officials were ordering Jack to shut down some marijuana grows he was operating. Jack's a real dandy of a guy. Attorney Discipline Board documents show he was once a lawyer who got suspended and never got his license back. He was also the CEO of a company called Loan Giant, which was shut down by the State Office of Financial and Insurance Services in 2004 with his cease and desist order because of a pattern of fraud, deceit, and material misrepresentation. And the U.S. Attorney's Office filed a complaint against Jack and his company for violations of the False Claims Act. The company was ordered to pay millions in restitution. Jack was personally ordered to pay $183,000. So you were involved in a mortgage scam? Not really. But you... Not really? No. Okay, so they sued you. Yeah. You had to pay a $183,000 judgment. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you guess so? Uh, I... Did you pay it? I don't believe so. Last winter when I met with Jack, I tried to get him to answer questions about Donna's deeds and the alleged forged signatures, but he never came clean. So you didn't approve this? I have no idea what that is, and, that, and I told him that it has to stop. There's my name on it, and I don't want my name on these things. They, Who told you this? They had a form of, of a quick claim deed they wanted. I gave them a form of a quick claim deed. Who did? The, the people who are owners of Mas Masbach. At the time, the only name associated with Masbach was Jack's. What did Donna think of Jack when she saw my story? Not much. I thought that he was very nonchalant, very cavalier, didn't care uh, that he had hurt uh, someone or had taken someone's home or anything. He just seemed as if it was another day in the life of Jack B. Wolf. I also confronted the notary public who witnessed and recorded the deeds, Cordia Pennington. So this guy right here, this George Booth guy, do you remember him? To be honest, 2017, I don't. Yeah. And well, you wouldn't remember because he's dead. No, she probably doesn't remember because nobody ever appears with the, be the, the paperwork. Last week, Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy charged Cordia Pennington with six felonies, three counts of counterfeiting documents to affect interest in property, and three counts of notary public violations involving real property. Cordia turned herself in and posted bond. Jack B. Wolf was charged with six felonies, three counts of counterfeiting documents affecting interest in property, and three counts of uttering and publishing as true document. But Jack didn't turn himself in. So the police came out in force 
to his Southfield home. State of Michigan versus Jack Benjamin Wolf. Jack must have got the message because he finally turned himself in and was arraigned via Zoom from the Wayne County Jail. His lawyer put quite a spin on Jack's story. He was an outstanding practicing attorney in this community for many, many years. He then transitioned into the business sector where he's ran a successful and healthy business for many years as well. A not guilty plea was entered on Jack's behalf, and Jack B. Wolf was released on $10,000 personal bond. But Jack will be back, back in court next month. I contacted both Jack Wolf and Cordia Pennington and spoke with each of their attorneys. Jack's attorney had no comment, but Cordia's lawyer, Brent Jaffe, says, quote, Cordia absolutely denies all allegations. We are confident we will prevail. She is innocent of all charges, unquote. Bill right. and Monica? We'll see them back in court. Thanks, Rob. Good work.